Hey guys, welcome to my new latest video, and this video is all about the M249 light machine gun, or otherwise known as the LMG. It was manufactured in the United States by a local subsidiary in the name of FN Manufacturing, which is based in South Carolina. <laughs> Sorry guys. Carolina! Line your body, girl. No, this crazy bit of kit is actually used to keep the enemy suppressed. So basically, if you had an onslaught of uh, enemy soldiers coming your way, you'd pull out the light machine gun, hit them hard with it, and it would keep them suppressed behind buildings, rocks, and such like. So the cartridge fires 5.56 NATO rounds. The action is gas-operated and open bolt, and the rate of fire is just crazy, guys. Sustained rate of fire, 100 RPM. Rapid rate of fire, 200 RPM. And then you go on to your cycle rate of fire, which is a staggering 800 RPM. Now that is just crazy talk. Now guys, all that is actual reality. What's it like on Onward? It ain't very good, to be honest with you. It used to be before uh, Dante patched it and made it basically a suppression weapon. Which, yeah, it is, it is, I've said that. But you can't do anything with it. The thing is with it, is give us um, LMG bullets and they don't really do much damage. And by the time you've actually zeroed in and you started firing, everybody knows where you are. Um, yeah, you can suppress them behind walls and things like that, but it's uncontrollable. The gun feels really uncomfortable to use. Now, I've noticed anything other than the iron sight, there's that much recoil. You can't look through the sight to, to keep to steady your aim, basically. And I really, really struggled and disliked using this weapon this time. I hate to say it because it was one of my favourite weapons to, uh, to actually play the game. I actually made an extra part of the stock for uh, the LMGs and, and such like. But I can't, I can't do it. I was glad when the video was finished. <laughs> Right, now onto the recall part of the video. Uh, just as you've seen, it went a little bit great, great there, didn't it? That's one-handed, that. So anyway, now we're on to two-handed and just see what the recall is actually like. And it's just straight up. Completely straight up. What I have noticed, and this is a bit weird because this is the only weapon that's actually done this, uh, or that's done this to me. <laughs> um, basically, when you when you meant to pull down and control the recoil, you just pull down once, and if you watch, once you pull it down, you could actually let it go with your, your left hand because it, it zeroes in and it just stays there. It just stays at what you're shooting at, which is very strange. Because normally, on all the other recoil videos that I've done in the past. You have to control the the recoil throughout firing your weapon, but this one you don't. Strange. Anyway, guys, that's it. End of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know, I know, it's a bit of a slagging off this video, and I really didn't want it to be. I really enjoyed using it prior to uh, to having this patch done. It is what it is. I didn't like it. Obviously, you guys might not feel the same. You know, I understand that. And if you uh, if you if you feel any different, put it in the comments. Right, I'll leave you with a little bit of footage that I've got. I hope you enjoy it, and hopefully see you in the next one. See you later, guys. I'm going to push this side. Left-hand side, right-hand side. Far right, right wall. One guy is going behind the building. So we're looking at the big area I'm in. We have a man down. Yeah, he's, he's behind the building you are at. And the oil, behind you. Ah. Who's alive? Who's alive? I'm still alive. Uh, all by the right side. At the I'm coming for you. Mate, are you dead? I see you, I see you. Ah!
Nice one. Great, great comms, I can try. No!